and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys for another video today and we are once again going to be discussing transfers as the January transfer window continues to get itself upon us and I just want to bring you first of all before we go into the three players that we are going to be discussing today the three players are Matthias De Ligt of Ajax, Mesut Ozil of Arsenal and of course Felipe Coutinho a very hot topic the guy who may well be coming in from Liverpool but what I want to talk about first of all is my community section which no I know a lot of you guys have found out about and I'm really enjoying sort of engaging with you a bit further there and it helps me sort of to gauge how you guys are feeling. Following a video I did a few polls yesterday, of course we spoke about Mina, we spoke about Arthur and we spoke about Antoine Griezmann. Around 2,000 of you guys all got involved in the polls so that's really really great. Great to see you all getting involved there. What I did ask was basically do we think that Yerry Mina would be a good signing if we brought him in for 9 million and the vast majority, 56% said definitely so that you, th you guys think that Yerry Mina would be a good signing in January for 9 million. I then asked, should we go ahead and pay the 50 million euros to sign Arthur, or maybe should we wait and try and get him for a lower price? The majority of you guys said that he was not worth 50 million for you, but you would definitely sign him for a bit less money. And finally, I said, would you be happy to see Antoine Griezmann arrive this summer for 100 million euros? And the majority of you guys, 53%, said you would be delighted to see Griezmann arrive at the camp now in the summer transfer window. And just before we do go into today's video, I did do a poll, a very hypothetical one, last night. Again, 2,000 of you getting involved. I basically said, given the amount of money it'll cost to get Coutinho, around 150 million, as we're going to find out later on in this video, would you rather sign Coutinho, or would you rather sign Arthur and Mesut Ozil? And that was a really, really tight poll. Right now, it's 43% say sign Coutinho, 57% of you guys say you'd rather sign Arthur and Mesut Ozil, either in January of course or next summer but with that in mind and all the rest of it guys let's get on with today's video we first of all we're going to talk about Ajax's centre-back Matthias De Ligt now he's a very very young player 18 years old it's incredible really the amount of football that he's already played as a player despite his very very tender age he's a Dutch full international he already has three caps for the Netherlands side full international caps that's incredible at 18 years old he has appeared in every single Ajax game this season 15 games so far he He's played in the league, and I have to say, Ajax, statistically, their defence is the best in the league so far. So that bodes well for De Ligt. Since making his debut in 2016, he's currently made 43 appearances in all competitions for Ajax. So he's already played a decent amount of games in his career. And I mention him here simply because earlier on this week, Mundo Deportivo came out with quite a big piece on De Ligt. They've actually also come up with some more news on him this morning. And they basically labelled De Ligt as the dream signing. Barcelona see De Ligt as their dream centre-back signing. If they could pick anybody right now, they would go for him, bring him in. But in terms of him and Yerry Mina, that seems to be the two at the moment that we're sort of can't decide between. There's a lot of money. There might be a lot of quality as well, but there's a lot of money between those types of players. Mina is going to cost around 9 million euros. Matthias De Ligt is going to cost a heck of a lot more. 50 million euros is according to reports what Ajax would want for him. And I, the reason for that, I definitely buy into that simply because Ajax don't sell their players on the cheap. Last summer, of course, they sold Davinson Sanchez for Tottenham. That was £42 million. So clearly, for their centre-backs, for their young assets, they will want a lot of money. Like I said, though, Monday Deputy did come out this morning with another article on De Ligt, and they basically confirmed Barcelona's interest. But they also said so many clubs were interested right now in Matthias De Ligt. You know, they quoted Barcelona, of course, Juventus, Dortmund, Arsenal, Chelsea, Man City, and Man United, according to Sport right now, are all interested in signing this centre-back. So the question is, why does everybody want him? The reason is he's a very talented young centre-back and not only that, not only does he defend well as a player, he's got a lot to learn but he still defends very well considering his age. He's a ball-playing centre-back. He's somebody that's very comfortable in possession particularly when you look at our style of play, how we play out of the back. De Ligt would be an absolute perfect fit for our team and especially coming out of Ajax as well. They play a very good style of football, they play a unique brand of football and obviously at Barcelona it's a very similar situation. So we would very much be comfortable slotting into our system and that would be a really really good thing because a lot of time coming into Barcelona particularly centre-backs as well you think of people in the past who come in people like Chigunski where it just hasn't worked out De Ligt could come in I think it'd be very very comfortable and very very easy in our system very quickly and that could be a big benefit to us but like I say Ajax right now want 50 million euros when they do sell him and they are very very intent that they don't want to sell in January that's been their story all along they've been saying we don't want to sell in January in the summer I 
I think they'll be certainly open to selling if their valuation is met, but I think it's going to be very, very difficult to do a deal for De Ligt in the January transfer window. So if we want him, we're going to have to wait until the summer, and I think right now we kind of need to bring somebody in in January. So at the moment, it's looking more likely that we're going to bring in Yeri Mina than De Ligt, but don't rule him out if we match Ajax's huge valuation of the player. The next player up for discussion is Arsenal's Mesut Ozil. Now, he's somebody that I've spoken about in the past. I did a whole video on him. Of course, he is going to be out of contract next summer. He is going to be available, a player of Ozil's quality, on a free transfer, which would be an incredible, incredible signing for anybody who wants to get him. Right now, 29 years of age. He's German, of course. Fantastic international for their national team. 88 caps he's got so far. European winner on the stage. World Cup winner as well. His contract, though, like I say, expires in the summer. Arsenal are trying to do everything they possibly can right now to get him to sign a new contract. They are still trying to convince him to stay and there are other clubs interested in signing Ozil as well. Man United and Jose Mourinho very much keen on trying to get him. And obviously, as a free transfer, he's a very, very lucrative signing. It could be a very, very good deal for the club. But obviously, with that, you've got to worry about the wages. Ozil will demand some big wages. He's certainly on that right now at Arsenal. He's leaving because possibly his wage demands are not being met by them. So even though it would be a free transfer, we've still got to be very, very careful with not only the wages, but also the length of the contract. You've got to remember he's 29 years old. If you give him a five-year deal on very high wages, he's going to be here until he's 34 years old. So the board are going to have to be very, very careful with this one. I said that in my previous video. I think the quality is there for everybody to see. Ozil is a player that would certainly suit our style of play. He's a fantastic player on the ball. He's so, so comfortable. He is an absolute assist machine. 142 assists during his club career so far. He absolutely eats and breathes assists. So far in the Premier League this season, 13 Premier League appearances, two goals and five assists so far. Arsenal, in general, have been quite underwhelming in the Premier League so far. Sanchez and Ozil, both of their futures are up in the air. But obviously Ozil comes with a lot of experience. He has played in La Liga, of course, before at Real Madrid. He's played in the Premier League now for a few years. He also started his career, of course, in the Bundesliga. So he's somebody that comes with a lot of experience, a lot of quality, there's no doubt about that. And Sport came out very recently, and they actually said that Ozil has been informed already that he's not Barcelona's first choice. He's already been told that, and his entourage have been informed of this. He is apparently behind Coutinho and Arthur in the Barcelona shortlist. They are focusing right now all their efforts on trying to sign Coutinho, and also trying to sign Arthur. Ozil has been informed that he's behind those, but at the same time he was informed that he's still very much an option. If we can't get Coutinho right now, if maybe Arthur isn't possible for the fee we want, we could well turn to Ozil, and he would be even though he's getting on, a good acquisition right now, but look into the future is he somebody that we can depend on for a number of years for the wages that it would take each week? That is the big question. And last but certainly not least we do come on to Felipe Coutinho. Now you guys are with me over the summer and we had video after video after video on Coutinho and all summer long I had the feeling that he wouldn't leave Liverpool. Not because he didn't want to, he clearly had his heart set on a move to Barcelona. We clearly wanted him, but Liverpool was so so firm. They released a statement, their owners necks were on the line and for me they were just never ever going to sell Coutinho and I don't think lots has changed but I do think right now that Liverpool are starting to appreciate that Coutinho might well be on his way. 25 years old, Brazil international, 32 caps for the Brazilian national team so far eight goals. Of course he's somebody that can play in midfield in the creative positions but this season as well he's been playing the majority of his football on that left hand side, cutting in from the wing, chipping in with goals, chipping with assists in the Premier League this season, nine appearances so far, four goals and four assists for Coutinho and in the Champions Champions League has been particularly impressive. Five appearances, five goals so far, and two assists. He's got a very good hat trick against Spartak Moscow at home very recently in the game that ended 7 0. But simply because he's played in those Champions League games, that would mean if we signed him in January, he would not be able to play in the Champions League this season. Whereas if we signed Ozil in January, he would be able to play simply because he's only played in the Europa League so far this season. But Coutinho is very much an option. The board seem fascinated by him. He's obviously a player that's got a lot of quality, he suits our style of play, he's very comfortable on the ball, he's very great passing range, he can shoot from distance, he's good from set pieces, he can score goals, he can create goals, there's a lot to like about Coutinho's game, Iniesta came out very recently,
recently he was asked about the signings of Yerry Mina and Coutinho and he basically came out and said I think they'd both be very important reinforcements of the squad I think if we signed those two they would be big signings so Iniesta very much open to the arrival of Coutinho and what I would say about Liverpool is they've always sort of dug their heels in over this transfer and they are very reluctant to sell him but very recently they have been not refusing to rule out a move for Coutinho Klopp has been asked about it a lot of times in a lot of press conferences they've asked about Coutinho's future and not once as he actually stood firm and said you know what Coutinho will stay every time he's saying things like we're not thinking about that right now anything can happen Liverpool right now do not seem certain that Coutinho will be there beyond January but what we do know as well is according to Spanish sources Catalan media sport Mundo Deportivo Cat Radio they are all saying the same thing if we are to sign Coutinho it is going to take a massive massive amount of money we are talking between 130 to 150 million euros it is going to take a colossal offer to bring this player to the camp now and the big question for us is is he going to be worth it you're bringing him in somebody who obviously has a lot of quality has a number of years left of course at the top level but we've got players in the youth academy like Alenia somebody who is a creative midfielder I think right now and I've always said this I think our priority should be Arthur or somebody of that profile the first thing we need right now is a controller somebody in that midfield to keep things ticking over and then if you want to add somebody like Coutinho like Griezmann I don't think we should be going after Griezmann and Coutinho we should only go after one star attacking name if you want to sign one of those go ahead and do it because of course we need some attacking flair Iniesta is not going to be there forever you need to start thinking about how we could create in the future and obviously scoring goals as well is very important but I think right now our priority must be a controlling midfielder somebody who can come into that midfield and give Valverde and give the squad exactly what we need let me know your thoughts guys I know a lot of people like Coutinho I like to watch him he's been a fantastic player for Liverpool this season it's going to take a lot of money to get him it's going to take a lot of wages to get Ozil and it's going to take a lot of money as well to get Matthias De Ligt. what does that tell you the transfer window is absolutely crazy that's what it tells you the money is going up with every passing year if you want to survive as a football club right now you have to spend money either that or create your own talent and right now the board seem very reluctant to promote from within so they're having to spend a lot of money to get the players we need but as always guys let me know your thoughts down below I'll be doing some more polls in my community section later on following this video to get your guys thoughts in a bit more detail I will see you soon but until then as always Vasca el Barça, 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 Barça.